Hi, everybody. Uh, Saturday morning, getting ready to uh, go out of town for a few days. So I won't talk to you again until probably Tuesday. But I want to get you through the weekend. I want to tell you what I'm tracking next week, because next week's forecast, especially the middle of the week, Tuesday into Friday and Saturday, um, really up in the air. I've got, I've got weather models that none of them have been overly consistent. They're not showing the same thing. But I'm going to take you through what I think is the most likely developing scenario. And remember, next week, we've been talking about the fact that we could have the first air cold enough to produce some snow over Cascade Passes. So I want to get you into that. Okay, meanwhile, it's a cloudy weekend. It's a pretty quiet weekend overall. We've had some misty reports this morning with the fog banks around. Uh, let's begin by looking at um, my live cameras. You can, one of the prettier cameras, if I get out of the way. Behind me, Cathedral Ridge Winery out in uh, Hood River. Boy, that's gorgeous. A little bit of blue, some low clouds, and the uh, illumination, sunlight on the vineyard. Again, that's Cathedral Ridge and Hood River. If you look at my live cameras here, though, look at Willamette Valley Vineyards. Really fogged in. Domain Serene Winery. We're up in the Dundee Hills. Really fogged in. Lewis River, cloudy, but not foggy. Sun River's got partly cloudy skies. Um what else? Clouds up in Three Rivers, Calso, downtown Portland, over at the coast. So this weekend was billed as, uh, for the most part, being cloudy with a touch of rain, mainly overnight tonight into tomorrow. Light winds, otherwise pretty quiet. And I still think that's what's going on. So um, radar really not showing anything locally. If I scroll down, um, I, I'm going to pop on these maps. So right here, we're not concerned about this system yet, but we are watching this ball of clouds offshore. There's a low center down in here that's going to track pretty much along the California-Oregon border overnight tonight into tomorrow as it moves inland. And that's where most of the rain is going to be in terms of a soaking rain chance getting into Sunday. That's going to be across the southern tier of Oregon. I'll show you the... Uh, weather modeling on that in just a moment. In the meanwhile, this is a system that's just throwing uh, a, a lot of clouds our direction. Here's the way it looks on the upper level wind flow pattern. Um, and it's pretty weak. See, there's a weakening trough right there along California. What I was just watching at is this trough right here and a developing low in this area that's going to zip up toward the California border. Um, and then that will kind of fall apart further and pave the way for a dry Tuesday. There's not much wind. There's not going to be much rain, in fact, with any of this either. So here's what, uh, this is courtesy of KGW-TV. This is their futurecast model. This is tomorrow at noon, Sunday at noon. So today, we had fog. We're also getting clouds thrown away inland from that weak low I just showed you offshore. Um, and there's the ongoing chance of a trace of moisture or a sprinkle. But in terms of you looking at the radar, and oh my goodness, there are scattered showers. That develops overnight tonight comes up from the south and then continues into the day tomorrow. Now, this is noon Sunday. And if you just look at this, you're like, wow, that looks pretty wet. But all of the forecast models give us, on average, including the coast, including Newport, including Astoria, including Salem, including Portland, give us a weekend rain total on average of less than five one hundredths of an inch. So that's not a lot of rain. Now, I did mention this morning when I was on KGW Sunrise Show, with that weak trough moving in, you have to wonder if we're going to have a period, especially in the morning hours, where it's just kind of misty or, or, or drizzly. That doesn't put much rain in the rain gauge, but if that's widespread and ongoing for an hour or two, what I call a drizzle storm, can be pretty doggone wet. And if you're outdoors recreating, playing golf like I like to do, um, it can be a really disappointing day. So. I just want to throw that out there as a possibility. Otherwise, we're going to see some scattered showers, the best chance, mainly first thing Sunday morning into early afternoon. And I don't expect uh, really a, a lot of total rain with any of this. Um, so with that said, here's a couple of things that, that I'm watching. Let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this. So this is kind of like a, a future cast model. This is the European and it basically shows you what the rain is going to do. So this is this morning. Not really anything measurable. Here's later today at 5 p.m. Now it's showing now the clouds are thickening. Maybe there's some traceable amounts of light rain at the coast and also in the valley. Mostly traceable stuff. Now, right in here, these are the showers that were surge inland overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So let me just play this. Um, let me back it up a little bit. Here's Sunday morning right in here. You can see the, the bulk of the rain is down here in the southwest corner of our state. We have a shower threat, though, even though it doesn't show it right here, but a shower threat 
through Portland and all the way up to the north. But if you look at the rain totals, so through, uh, this would be through what, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, we've got eight one hundredths of an inch of rain in Tillamook down into Lincoln City. We've got three one hundredths of an inch of rain in Salem, three one hundredths of an inch of rain in the West Gorge, a little bit more getting up in the Cascades. Again, some rain, but not a lot. The bulk of it's down here to the south. And then if I just play this into the afternoon and into the evening, you're seeing there's not much added rainfall up here in Portland or even Salem, but you've got a pretty good chunk of rain down here in the southern half, southwestern half of Oregon, including maybe over in the Bend area. So this is good news. There are still, uh, we still have a couple of large fires that are not completely contained down in the southwest corner of our state, the Flat Fire and the Camp remember what the other name of the other fire is, but they're right down here in the southwest corner of the state. This is also an area, remember, over the last handful of years that's been hit by drought, meaning the most below normal in terms of average rainfall. So any rains that we can get that take a bullseye over this southern portion of Oregon, that, that's just great news. So I hope what you got out of that is we're pretty dry today, a trace of rain. Tomorrow, scattered showers, but not looking for a lot of total rain unless you're down here in the southwest corner of our state. Now, let me back up and get you into what I'm tracking. So during this uh, you know, past week, I've, I've made mention of a low pressure system that's coming in Tuesday into Wednesday. And the fact that maybe that was the one that was going to drop cold air in its wake that would produce snow over Cascade Passes Wednesday morning for the first time this year. Well, this is the European model. And what you're looking at is kind of the... the air mass temperatures at 5,000 feet or 850 millibars. So let me just play this into, this is this morning. And all I really want you to notice is you've got warm air in Texas, supposed to be about 100 down in Phoenix, Arizona today. We have temperatures that are pretty near normal, low to mid 60s. That's pretty comfortable today. This is what I'm watching. This is the cold Canadian air up in here, that kind of whitish, bluish tones, okay? So let me just play this. Notice how it's, here we are going into Sunday. The coldest air stays well to our north. Here we are, a dry Monday, cold air still up to our north. Now, here we are getting into Tuesday morning. Now, there's a frontal boundary that looks like it could be just setting to our north. And if that's the case, the best chance of hours of soaking rain would be just to our north. And that colder air I mentioned would stay just to our north on Tuesday and Wednesday. So See how when I go into the afternoon, this cold air, it's still staying up here. Several days ago, the models dropped this into our area, but now they're saying, no, some showers developing, probably late Tuesday into Wednesday, but the heavy rain totals in the cold air stays up to our north, including the day Wednesday. See right in here, here's that cold air up to our north. Now, let me go ahead and play this. See this little dip right in here? So this is what the European model is now saying. Showers Tuesday, Wednesday, but the cold air, the heavier rain stays to our north. Then there's a front that comes in Thursday afternoon, right in here. Let me go ahead and play this. Look at the cold air behind that front out here in the Pacific. This would pick up increasing rain Thursday into Friday. And eventually, oh, okay, that's the last frame of this particular run of the European model. But eventually, this cold air... Uh, could come in and drop snow levels down to Cascade Passes on Friday. So with that said, um, let me show you what I'm looking at here. I haven't shown you or talked about this in, uh, well, yet this fall. This is the first time this fall I'm really looking at Cascade snow levels. So tomorrow, 6,500 feet, Tuesday, 7,000, Wednesday, 8,000. That's that cold air staying up to our north. Thursday, still pretty high, 6,500 feet. By, by Friday, snow level down to 4,000 feet. And that would be potentially some snow accumulation, potentially enough over Cascade Pass level to slow up travel. So the only point of my messaging here is that if you're going to be traveling mid to late week, this upcoming week, just keep yourself updated with the forecast. The modeling varies, but all the models show there's some cold air in Canada that's just looking like it's lurking. And maybe it drops down and we get our first snowflakes at government camp of this fall season. Okay. Um, and if that's what I just said is true, Developing showers Tuesday, Wednesday, probably wouldn't be a lot of rain, but then heavier rain would pick up Thursday. That front comes in Thursday night and then heavier rain Friday with snow in the Cascades. So we're watching all that. Okay. With that said, let me get you to the seven day forecast. And here we go. Again, I'd like to remind you, this is brought to you by Hazeldale Tire Pros. It's locally owned up here in Hazeldale on Highway 99. Been going to them for years for all my tire needs. Really nice, honest people that, uh, that will do you right. Okay. 
Mostly cloudy today, some traces of rain. This is Saturday. Tomorrow, a few showers around, especially in the morning hours. And then Sunday evening, the rain chance drops to our south and ends. Monday's dry. Tuesday, Wednesday are wild cards. I think it makes sense we'll get some rain, but it might not be that much. And then right now, I think we get the colder weather. See the daytime highs only in the 50s as rain picks up on Thursday and Friday. The normal high right now is 62 for Portland. The normal low is 45. So we've had a lot of days above normal. Maybe we'll finally get closer to normal and, in fact, cooler than normal as we roll into next week. Again, I'm probably not going to talk to you again until Tuesday because I've got some family business I'm attending to. And we'll be out of town. Um, so have a good weekend. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And uh, my weather site is portlandweather.com. I'll talk to you soon.